so we're buying you. Hi, I'm Bethany, and that's Drew. After gold was discovered at Sutter's Mill in 1848, people flocked to California for the chance to strike it rich. Now the state is filled with these abandoned mining towns. Although many of the original buildings are now gone, these ghost towns are riddled with history, lost treasure veins, and the spirits of the dead. Today we're going to take a closer look at a place that offers a taste of the miner's lifestyle while still being shrouded in mystery. Join us as we explore the Calico Ghost Town, coming up on Odyssey Odysseys. Calico Ghost Town can be found off of the 15, just seven miles east of Barstow, California. Exit at Ghost Town Road and take that another three and a half miles north. Then just follow the signs on the side of the road or the giant sign on the hillside that you probably saw from the freeway. Watch this. Hello. Hi. With production. You. Thank you. She didn't even look at them. That's how we do it. She didn't even look at them though. She like didn't care. <laughs> oh well, we know who we are. We know who we are. We actually plan on being at Calico Ghost Town for a couple of days. You can't really take it all in in one day. This is a pretty big ghost town. Yeah, there is a lot to see here, a lot to do, some places that are haunted. This looks like some old timey horror shoots or something. Yeah, there's a door over here, a locked one door. It says, do not enter. Oh, we'll be entering. We gonna, no, don't say that. We're gonna be respectful. Stop, do not enter. But we can enter because we're crew. She's got one too. Now a California historical landmark and part theme park. For example, I don't think that restaurant was here during the original mining days. Oh yeah, the eggs would definitely be cold. Yeah, but Calico has found a way to preserve its rich history by adding authentic displays throughout the town. And then there's the mines. Ah, we'll get to those later though. For now, time to explore. Time to check out the shops. In 1875, prospectors discovered silver deposits on the south slope of the Calico Mountains. The once quiet mountain range was soon populated by nearly 3,500 workers and became an official town, complete with a post office, a schoolhouse, and saloons. There are also a lot of fun shops here at Calico, so we're gonna check some out. Oh boy. Hi. A lot of cool stuff in here. That's so cute. Route 66 stuff. It's here that you can buy a lot of cool, authentic looking pieces. Airplanes made out of bullets. That's amazing. Here's a tank made out of bullets. That's really cool. That's really cool. We're finding something new every second yeah. here at Calico. All of this stuff is so unique. Ooh, that's cool. And there's also stuffed mummies. That's so cute. Um, you know, I couldn't help but notice there's a train right up the hill. Oh, is that a hint that you want to take a ride? Hey, look at this. You got the caboose. Oh, that's our movie. We just made it. I'm interested to see where this train takes us. So this is one of the fun attractions at Calico yeah. Ghost Town. That was pretty neat. Delightful. Cool. Moving on. Well, we've checked off one of the major attractions. Now it's time to dig a little deeper into Calico's history. So we're here with Calico Ghost Town right behind us. And we have Daryl Schindel, our special guest. He is not only one of Calico's best friends, he's a historian. He owns several businesses in Calico Ghost Town. He also does mine tours, search and rescue. There's a lot that Daryl knows about Calico, so we're very excited to have him with us today. So thank you for, for taking us on You're this welcome. special tour. Appreciate it. So what are we gonna see today here at Calico? I am gonna take you into the Silver King. Silver King Mine was quoted as the big producer of silver in the area. It's just one of many claims and mines that are in the Calico Mountain. And Silver King is something that people can tour for themselves? Right, it's, it's a plan ahead reservation type. It's a good three to four hours and we dive way into the history of Calico and the mountain and mining and, and such. Can we go check out the Silver King? We can. If you guys are ready, here we, here we go. Now, is it going to be hot or cold in there? It's going to be the perfect room temperature. Okay, All which right. uh, roughly 67 degrees. Oh my god. 
And we are ready. So Daryl, we're right inside the gate to the Silver King mine. You'd mentioned a few minutes ago how there's only one set of tracks coming in and out of here. How are those tracks likely used? Well, let me point out a couple things. This is a later style. It's like an I-beam. It's gotta be built in a factory and shipped and hauled. If you can work your way over here, let's go back in time, the 1800s earlier, where they put down a two by four. And remember a two by four then was a two by four. Mm -hmm put some cross pieces on and a strap, and that is your track. Oh my gosh. So this is going back way in time. Come right here. I need that ore car that way, if you would, please. You want me to push I this? I want you to push that. How hard can I'm it be? I'm gonna determine whether I'm gonna hire you or not. Oh my gosh. Uh, how far are we going? Well, are we there yes, yet? that's good enough, that's good. <laughs> okay, great. I've done my job. Get, give me an idea what you think that weighs. Ooh, maybe 500? There's a quarter ton of rock in there. We weighed it. Okay. Probably another couple hundred at least on the, on, so there's seven, 800 pounds at okay. least, at All least. Right. They would have had oil, you know, would have moved a little smoother, but still mm -hmm. that's a lot of weight. You know, you look down the shaft, that's a long ways to push. Look this how far thing. we have to go here. I know, we're just at the entrance still. <laughs> Watch your head. Okay, it's getting low. Oh, these helmets. Oh, we can stand up again in here. <laughs> Usually about five feet wide, seven feet tall. Seems to be about the standard. Sometimes they're a little taller. So if you would, rub your hand along this rock and, and describe what it feels like, what you That's see. Fairly smooth. Super smooth. Baby's yeah. butt. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And it looks like it goes all the way. All the way around. So, so first idea was well, maybe there was a door here, um, some kind of. Well, something, but if I may make a guess, okay, is that the fault? That is a fault because it's two different types of rock. It right. looks like that is a fault, and this is a vein. Now you're not going to see silver like you might see gold. There's not going to be nuggets, and it's embedded in the rock. You've got to is that a process it. Nope, you're not going to see silver. Okay, you're not. He's trying right. to find it. <laughs> He's not going to. So 20 ounces of ton of silver was mineable. It was worthwhile. Okay. Okay. And 20 ounces would fit into it, my hand. I'm, I'm thinking if you take a Coke bottle, 16 ounce Coke bottle, if you, if you go that way, I'm sure it's pretty close, yeah. but you know, that's not a whole lot. Right, right. There's a really strong breeze where we're standing. Yeah. But I also wanted to ask, what's that ladder right there? This is what's called a winds. So they would have started at this level and then they would have gone, hey, we're gonna now mine down mm. and they would bring that material up until they got down to the next level and found another way to go out. Okay, find a flat spot kind of to stand on. Turn your lights out for me. I'm gonna come over here, we're gonna be in darkness. Uh, Kill the camera light. And that's going off, and then... And many people go, do you actually light that? And I go, yes, I do. So this is the candle on your hat. So that's the one on my hat. Imagine one candle power. How did they see? How did they do yeah. here? This is a little homemade Tommy sticker. Most of the wood timbers, you will find- They would hang these. Little holes. Oh, oh my God. And that's how they would stick the Tommy stickers. <laughs> and hard to say how many would be in here at one time yeah. for them to work, but I imagine you know they had more than a couple. So I was a little curious about mine safety. If you come across a random mine, how do you know if it's safe to enter? Well, doing 30 years of, of mine rescue with search and rescue, you don't go into mines. No mine is safe. Mm -hmm. Um, this one here, you know, been in a hundred times. Is it safe? Um, you know, you take your chances on anything you do. Yeah. You know, we know the air is good in here. We know the makeup. We know if there's any hazards we need to watch. So from that standpoint, we're good. The cool thing about the desert, there's no moisture. So there's no rotting per se. You don't have termites. So it kind se. of preserves this. So it's pretty well, I mean, this is 125 years old. Yeah. So going back to silver. Yeah. Take a look at that wall. That's a fault, I would imagine, right? That, that is your fault. That's what they were mining. So this, the, you said the, the earlier area was just to get to a that place was, like that this. That was a way to get to, to the mining, yes. This is how smooth it is. Smooth right. because here it's... It's, it's called the it's slick, rubbing and, against. slick inside. This would be the slick inside of the fault. So you said earlier, this is a huge mountain and there are many different levels. So what level are we on? We're right in now? level six. Level six. How many levels were there in this area? We know of 11 for sure. 11 for sure. 11 for sure. And then that's where the water table is. Okay. Here's a raise right here. And that kind of shows you how they put their floors in. Uh -oh. it, it's just wood. So would that be level five up there? That would be a sub-level. A sub-level. A true level was 100 feet. 
okay. know, roughly to, to keep the integrity of the rock, you know, yeah. not caving. Now, if you come over here, again, everybody, oh, that's silver. Look at all the sparkly. No, that's quartz. That's, that's homemade. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, notice... Uh, Notice how thick and oh yeah, you know, and how this, this is a come. Home Depot yeah, special. Yeah, how, how uh, thin and whatever. We've <laughs> okay, but this here is roughly 100, 130 ounces a ton of this rock. Okay, so this that's why they were skipping past that 30 ounces. I, that's my you know why do that when you've got this? Yeah, I haven't seen this yet in any of the shafts. They did remarkable stuff back then. Woodworking, everything fits really tight. Some of the indicators, the thickness of wood, a two by twelve. But here's the key. These are square head nails. Blacksmith. A uh, round head was a machine pulled. It was later on mechanized, but... Um, so what era does that put this in? 1800s. We're gonna go up here? You have to, yeah. Oh my gosh. You'll be okay. Oh my gosh, he's going for it. Here he goes. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. Yeah, that's all you have to do. You're up. So kind of step on the wood like a, like a ledge and then put one leg up. Oh, there we go. Okay, come my way. Okay. There you go. We're going to go down this way, so follow me if you would. You might want to use the side to hold on to. It's pretty loose. I'd like to show you another type vein. This black is silver. Ooh, really? It's well over 100 ounces a ton. It's not like a whole rock is black. It's on the outside of it. So you can take a little bit here as a souvenir. So like that piece right there? This one? Yeah, it may be small, but there's a lot of silver on it. So that's a piece of silver? That's the black is silver. And we've actually taken this, melted it down, and you know made something out of it. It was kind of cool. Huh. All right. Now that we have the silver, now that we've got what we came for. <laughs> We're rich. We're rich. Go ahead on down that way. That's why you wear the helmet. <laughs> Get Daryl coming through. Again, you're you're at the fault. You're at the, yep. the vein. Take a look up above you. Oh, wow. Ooh. So that's another level above us that they've done that false oh, floor. God. That's amazing. <laughs> and that just goes straight down? It's that's kind of dead in there. Obviously, that ladder is, is that from, from the, the 18th 1800s? century. <laughs> that's the first aluminum ladder. <laughs> Rare sight. <sighs> Fresh air. Whew, that was a journey. Well, Daryl, thank you so much for this mine tour. You're welcome. Remember, you're welcome. safety first. If you see a mine, do not go in it. But if you're here at Calico, you can book a mine tour. We'll, we'll take you in and we'll give you as much history as we can. From that first discovery in 1875 until 1935, the town witnessed fires, an increase in population after the discovery of buoyant minerals, and the death of many miners and Chinese laborers, who some claim continue to haunt these grounds to this day. By the mid-1890s, the silver that had brought all these miners to Calico began to drop in value, and that's when all the miners split town. It would have been awesome to see the town right after the schoolhouse and the post office closed in 1898. It would have. There probably would have been a lot of relics and artifacts lying around. By 1907, the town was pretty much abandoned, and it became the Calico Ghost Town. After being abandoned, many efforts were made to preserve the mining town. In the 1950s, Walter Knott of Knott's Berry Farm purchased the town and restored most of the buildings to preserve Calico's history for future generations. Today, Calico Ghost Town hosts visitors from around the world who are eager to explore its history, shops, and legends. So it's starting to get dark here at Calico, it and is. things are feeling a little different. Yeah. <laughs> We're now taking a closer look at some of the inside of the buildings. But you know what always throws me is like that one light above the door and you can't see anything else. <laughs> the original site of Lucy Lane's home. Now a lot of these buildings are haunted, supposedly, right? Yeah, the Calico employees have mentioned there being good spirits, but bad spirits as well. So as far as Lucy Lane's house, I'm not sure which one resides in here. Yeah. Someone behind you? No. It sounded like someone was walking behind you. It did. The bathroom. This place really needs to stop putting mannequins everywhere too, because they're scaring me. Oh, did you find another one? Oh, yeah, okay. Well, it didn't have a head, which is why it creeped me out even more. You know, if 
you stand right here, it's got a head. Well, that's cheating. This is a side of Calico that I think most people don't get to see because it, it closes at 5 p.m. Yeah, this is definitely a whole new vibe. Yeah. Earlier, we were kind of walking through some shops. We saw the restaurant. It was nice outside, and now it's just like there's a stillness in the air that's kind of creepy. Yeah. Oh, look at this old stove. I know, that's really cool. I love the old chest that you see in some of these buildings. It just it gives a look of authenticity. Yeah. Her name, Lucy, was her name. There's something, I don't know. I'm seeing her pictures and it's kind of, it's a little jarring to be in here. Calico Ghost Town is woven into the fabric of the history of California. Although the miners are long gone, the spirit of hard work continues to resonate throughout the area. If you'd like to come visit Calico for yourself, check out parks.sbcounty.gov for hours, prices, and special events. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing, and let us know your ghost story in the comments below. Also, we hope you'll come visit us over on Patreon. For only a dollar a month, you can get exclusive access to our extended adventures at Calico Ghost Town, including a deeper look inside the mines and much more. Just click the link in the description to get started. Until then, take care, take fright, and we'll see you next time. Lane's General Merchandise. Let's see what they got in here. I'm gonna guess General Merchandise. Knives, cigars, cowboy hats. Inside, everything men know about women. Ready? There's no opening to put anything. Here we go. Guns. I don't think they're real though. I think that's just a... Oh, it's a coat rack. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs>